The S&P is down 18 plus percent. Look at this damn chart. We have the Nasdaq down 21 percent. Look at this damn chart. It's looking bad for the economy. Inflation, we got the interest rates. We got the Fed doing all these crazy things. And look what's happening. Remember, Chicken Genius Singapore told us, don't buy the dip because the macro sphere and oil prices are going crazy. Too much concern in the market. Do not buy the dip. Do not buy the dip. Chicken Genius Singapore is better than Warren Buffett. You didn't know that? You didn't know he's better than Warren Buffett? We're going to go through some of Warren Buffett's feelings, his thoughts during the 2008 financial crisis. One of the biggest crises ever in history. And he was buying. He was buying. This doesn't even compare to 2008. And he was doing the opposite of what everyone is thinking now. So let's go to this article, this opinion piece by American I am this is Warren Buffett in October 16 2008 in the depths of the financial crisis this is what he was saying the financial world is a mess both in United States and abroad its problems moreover have been leaking in the general economy and the leaks are now turning into gusher in the near term unemployment will rise business activity will falter and headlines will continue to be scary <laughs> This is exactly what's happening now. Like all of those things is exactly what's happening now. And you're seeing everyone sell off. So I've been buying American stocks. He's doing the opposite of what everyone's saying. This is my personal account. I'm talking about it. This description leaves aside my Berkshire Hathaway holdings, which are all committed to philanthropy. If prices keep looking attractive, my non Berkshire net worth will soon be 100% in United States equities. 100%. Not 50, not 40, not 30. He's not having some cash on the sideline. <laughs> 100%. Why? A simple rule dictates my buying. Be fearful when others are greedy. And be greedy when others are fearful. Look at this Charlie Rose interview. If you want to go back, you can watch it. But he said some amazing things. This is what he bought. He invested in GE, Goldman Sachs. He bought BNSF. I stretch to the last nickel for this one. Railroads will be essential to the country. Even when there's bad years, there will be a lot of good ones as well. And I'm just paraphrasing what he's saying. We come closer to our financial meltdown than any other time period I've ever seen and more panic than the Great Depression. This is what he's saying during the worst panic. Do the opposite of what everyone is saying to do. Get out of cash, invest in assets. During these inflationary periods right now, you're losing like 8.5% of your buying power, even more. The Fed is lying about what you're actually losing to inflation. So you don't want to have cash. Buy what's best available now. Keep buying as you start getting more money. Have some cash aside if you still want to predict another 10, 20% dip in the market. Have some cash on the side. Let's continue this. To be sure, investors are right to be wary of highly leveraged entities or business in weak competitive positions by companies with moats. But fears regarding the long-term prosperity of the nation's many sound companies make no sense. These businesses will indeed suffer earnings hiccups as they always have, but most major companies will be setting new profit records 5, 10, 20 years from now. So looking long term is what's going to set you free from all this market ups and downs and what people are afraid of people get really 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 short term when the market is uh going down they get so short term they can't even think about five ten years from now let me be clear on one point i can't predict the short term movements of the stock market i haven't the faintest idea as whether the stocks will be higher or lower a month a year from now what is likely, however, is that the market will move higher, perhaps substantially so, well before either sentiment or the economy turns up. So you have to wait for the Robin Spring will be over. That's what I'm trying to say. People are trying to wait for the perfect time to invest. It's going to be over by the time you think you're just going to know exactly when to put all your hard-earned money back into the market. You're not that smart. A little history here. During the Depression, the Dow hit its low 41 on July 8th, 1932. Economic conditions, though, kept deteriorating until Franklin D. Roosevelt took office in March 
1933, by that time, the market had already advanced 30%. Or think back to the early days of World War II, when things were going badly for the United States and Europe and the Pacific. The market hit bottom in April 1942, well before Allied fortunes turned. And getting in the early 1980s, the time to buy stocks was when inflation raged and the economy was in the tank. That's what's happening. Economy in the tank, inflation raging, he's still buying. In short, bad news is an investor's best friend. It lets you buy a slice of America's future at a marked down price. Over the long term, the stock market news will be good. In the 20th century, the United States endured two world wars, other traumatic and expensive military conflicts, the depression, a dozen or so recessions, and the financial panics, oil shocks, a flu epidemic, and the resignation of a disgraced president. Yet the Dow rose from 66 to 11,000. You might think it would have been impossible for an investor to lose money during a century marked by such extraordinary gain, but some investors did. Hapless ones bought stocks only when they felt comfort in doing so, and they proceeded to sell when the headlines made them queasy. <laughs> Everyone is doing exactly this. Today, people who hold cash equivalents feel comfortable. They shouldn't. Inflation is raging. It's killing your purchasing power. They have opted for a terrible long-term asset, one that pays virtually nothing and is certain to depreciate in value, money. Indeed, the policies that the government will follow in its efforts to alleviate the current crisis will probably prove inflationary and therefore accelerate declines in the real value of cash accounts. Equities will almost certainly outperform cash over the next decade, probably by a substantial degree. These investors who cling now to cash are betting they can officially time their move away from it later. In waiting for the comfort of good news, they are ignoring Wayne Gretzky's advice. I skate to where the puck is going to be, not where it has been. I don't like to opine on the stock market again to emphasize that I have no idea what the market will do in the short term. Nevertheless, I followed the lead of a restaurant that opened in an empty bank building and then advertised. Put your mouth where the money was. Today my money and my mouth say equities. Guys, if that is not... <laughs> what you should be doing this is warren buffett the godfather telling you this guys like this video subscribe to my channel peace